Hi friends, welcome. This is Patty Bennett and I have a fun impromptu video for you today. This is a live Facebook video at about 3.15 on 2.22. <laughs> so if you're watching live, tell me hi and please just give me a quick comment and tell me that you are here so that I know that you are joining me. I know I didn't say I was going to go live, but I had so many comments about this card. I'm calling it my Northern Lights card. I had so many comments and so many questions. So many people wanted to know, how did you do it? Now, you can find this card on my blog, pattystamps.com. Oh, I forgot to write it. Let's put that right here. Okay, so this card was on my blog on 2-20-22, so a couple of days ago. That's where I posted this. And so many of you loved the card. So many of you commented, I think this got more interaction than just about anything else I've ever done. And even though I included some step-by-step -step photos, several of you asked, could you please uh, show us in a video? Could you please do a video? So... If you tried to join me last Friday, you know that I was having issues with Facebook Live and it wasn't working. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to jump on and see if Facebook Live is working again, which, yay, it is. <laughs> Woohoo! And then I could take this opportunity to show you how I made the card. Uh, and so here we go. So let me know if you're here. Say hi. Would love to say hi. Oh, hello, everybody. I see. Oh, my gosh. I see 60-something people already. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. And in Germany. Must be really late in Germany right now. Canada, Nebraska. Oh, my goodness. Virginia, Ohio. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks for joining me. I know I didn't announce this would be live, but we are going to go through the steps of making this card. So this paper is the Stampin' Up! Celebration Simply Marvelous paper. So here are the, the different patterns and colors that are in this package. And I know this is really kind of late because if there are any of you who are watching this after the end of February, then this offer is done. But if you're still watching in February, you can still get this paper. It's part of Celebration. And if you haven't heard about Celebration, it's free gifts for every $50 in orders. So you can get this package of paper as a free gift. And I'll just, just tell you, just be honest with you, when I first got my package, I was a little mystified. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with these patterns. And so I sort of set it to the side and I didn't use it a lot. <laughs> and now all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to use it, right? So I kind of looked at this and I saw in my mind this Northern Lights kind of a sky because I know that in Northern Lights there are these like rays and it kind of looks like it's jumping and moving, right? So I thought if I use my blending brushes and I add some color, then I think we could probably get it to look like a sky. And then for the mountain range, I used this piece from New Horizons and I just cut, I'll show you that later, I just cut with my paper snips and I layered it on top for the mountains and then I've got the Mountain Air stamp set, and I used, uh, not that one, this one, I used the, these trees. Now I'm thinking I might even try this one on there. We might try that. I'm thinking. I don't know. Haven't decided. But one of the comments was that several of you thought about adding pink into yours. So I really haven't seen Northern Lights in its full glory to know exactly um, I probably should have looked up some colors, but I was thinking, what about if we did maybe a little bit of fresh freesia so that it's not like pink, 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 but it's got that pink tone. So I think I'm going to add some of that in addition to my uh, 
Granny Apple Green, Gorgeous Grape, Knight of Navy, and Bermuda Bay. Those were the colors that I used. Let me see if I scoot this up a little bit. Hang on. Maybe you can see those colors a little bit better. Oh, Robin did purple. Okay, yeah, I've got purple. I've got Gorgeous Grape in mine. But I was thinking about maybe adding some of this Fresh Freesia. So the first thing that I added was the green because... Uh, I, to me, in my mind, it, there was more green sort of at the horizon when you look at the, um, Northern Lights. And so I'm just adding the color to my blending brush and I'm just going to tap off just a little. I still want this pretty saturated though. And I'm going to try to sort of copy this one on the left. I want it to look fairly similar so you can see this process. The only thing I've done differently is that I have flipped this piece upside down, and I'll tell you why, <laughs> is that this right here that kind of looks like a heart, it kind of bugs me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are there really hearts in the northern <laughs> light sky <laughs> in the Aurora Borealis? I don't know. So we're putting down some of this green. And I want to kind of saturate this quite a bit, actually. Okay, so there's some green at our horizon and sort of jumping up like that. And then I am going to add some Bermuda Bay. Welcome, everyone, if you're just joining. I know I didn't say I was going live. This is impromptu. I just had so many people ask about this Northern Lights card that was on my blog a couple of days ago that I thought I would go ahead and just do a real quick video just to kind of show you my thoughts on how I did this. So now I'm doing some of this Bermuda Bay. And we can always add more. I'm leaving these uncovered over here so that I can add more. I'm going to... Oh, thanks, Carolyn. She said she likes how I thought outside the box. Yeah, I... You know... Oh, hi, Renee. She says she's a first-timer. Welcome. Welcome. So what I kind of was starting to say about this paper, and this is grape, by the way, gorgeous grape, was that... When I first saw it, I sort of set it aside. I just really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. And I always feel like, I swear, ever since high school, I felt like I was just sort of a really late bloomer as far as like trends or fashion, whatever. I never really was, was you know, trendy. Like it was always a couple years later, I sort of figured out and then I had like the hair from three years ago or whatever. I don't know. I just, it just, that's just me. So that's what I feel like with this paper is that all of a sudden I'm like, oh, oh well, I know what I could do with it. <laughs> I feel like I'm so late to the party, but oh, well, it's okay. So I'm going to try this. We're, we're adding this freesia just to kind of give this a little... It doesn't look a lot different than the grape, but but maybe in the finished one, this will have a little bit more of that pink that people were suggesting to me to try. And then my Knight of Navy was sort of my, uh, like the outside of it. So I'm just going to turn it and come in from the corner and come down. Hi, Mary Ellen from Chile, Montana. Thanks for joining in. This is just a very impromptu, not a regular Friday Live. <laughs> so from the top, kind of down for the navy.
And I know we're going to have to cut this down narrower, or maybe, maybe we'll leave it at six inches. Maybe I'll do sort of a mid-size, um, that's what I'll do, sort of a mid-size slimline looking card. So that was sort of the beginning of it. And you can see that I did leave this spot lighter. I didn't really leave a lighter spot since I added that fifth color in. But as these colors kind of soak into this paper, we will see how they look and we'll see if we want to change any of the colors. So I'm just going to scroll. Let's see. <laughs> yes, I produced the beautiful sky. Thanks, Rosemary. <laughs> Oh, let's see. I'm just looking back. Um, thank you, Sandy. Such kind words. Yes, you are welcome to case this. Of course. Of course, of course. All right. So I'm just going to trim. I'll show you what I did. I just took this piece from New Horizons and very loosely cut out. And it doesn't really matter if you leave some of the white. It's going to make it look like snow or you can trim that off. And I just very quickly cut this. It wasn't meant to be any kind of perfection at all. Now I'm, I'm left with this that's gonna make a gorgeous card. I'm gonna do something with that. And then when you layer that on top, now you've got your beautiful snowy scene and your mountains, and I think it's going to be really pretty. So at that point, I had to just like leap of faith, glue it down and start stamping trees. But I want to tell you a little trick here that I did. Now, I think, did I use shaded spruce? I think I did. Shaded spruce was my trees. I want to show you a little trick, though, that I did with the trees. And I don't think I explained this on my blog post. So let me take a minute to explain. And I'm actually going to do the double tree and the single tree instead of the double tree twice. I don't like the four trees. I want to try it with three. And if you miss the beginning, it's Mountain Air is the set that I am using for the trees. So let me show you this little tip that I did. So if, if I glue this down, and I ink the trees and I stamp, you know what's going to happen, right? There's going to be like this little space right here that doesn't get stamped because that's just what happens when you stamp over a layer. So what I did was I knew where I wanted my mountain piece to be. I pulled it down a little bit. And I held it there, and then I stamped, and I'm pushing kind of hard because I do want that ink to get, you know, nice and soaked in there. Okay, see, that's what I mean. See how you get that little halo? But I'm going to slide it back up, and we're not going to see that halo. So let me mount my single tree that I wanted to use. One-handed stamp mounting. How's that? And I think I'm going to do the single one right about there. Okay. And then when we slide this back up into place, you would never know that there was kind of that little gap in the tree, but it filled that in. So that was my preference on stamping the trees. I hope that makes sense. Oh, welcome, Susan. She says, first time watching me live. Welcome. Yes, it would make a nice framed decor piece. Thank you, Debbie. All right. So that was that part. And then I said that maybe I would try this. I don't, you know what I think I need to do? Oh, and it's bigger than you think because the pieces are smaller on the front of this case. So I think what I need to, oh boy, we need a big block, big block. What I think I need to do 
is to just sort of hold this on top and see if that's something that I'm going to want to do. Do I want to stamp that on here? Mm, I really like this line with the white. And if I put that grove of trees on there, it's going to completely hide that. Oh, man, I don't know if I want to do it or not. Oh, I'm glad you like that tip. Awesome, awesome. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, no more stamping. Yeah, Robin likes that line, too. I think I am not going to stamp this. I really like that line of the snow meeting right up to that mountain range. Yeah, leave it the way it is. Okay. All right. Don't do it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. <laughs> okay. But what I do want to show you is how I finished this off. Do you see these kind of pretty speckly pieces and then all the little white dots? I want to show you what I did to do both of those. So the shiny, shimmery, little specks are, of course, Wink of Stella, because I, you know, love to add that to just about everything. So here's a tip. First of all, I'm going to shake it. I like to shake it off camera, though, because um, it makes people dizzy. <laughs> okay, so shake it up first, and then whenever you're going to start using it, squeeze it out and let that first little blob come out. Don't ever try to actually just paint or anything right on your project with that blob because you can get a really unsightly looking blob. Okay, but I was flicking ink like this. Well, not ink, glitter, glimmer paint. But then I wanted some, do you see these that are a little bit bigger? I just wanted some bigger ones. And so I picked up some of that ink and I was just like, doing this and shaking on some larger blobs. And you have to be, you know, a little careful, but on the other hand, hey, you know what? It's handmade and it's just paper and you can't worry too much, right? So do you see those little bit bigger shimmery spots now? I hope you can see it. So that was that. And then I'll show you the white uh, Whisper White Craft Ink Refill. I'm going to shake it off camera just so you don't get dizzy. And then I have this clear block that was in, I think it was either from a paper pumpkin kit or it was just um, um, from a different kit. But I, I don't care to stamp with these. I don't like the feel of these. I love our Stampin' Up! blocks with this nice you know, finger ridge there. So I don't like stamping with this one, so I use it for crafting purposes. So what I'm going to do is put some white ink from my refill. And then I have this blender pen that, see how I've got white uh, paper wrapped around this end. That reminds me that I use this end when I use white ink. I would never want to try to color with this end because it won't work. And I am going to use this block and I'm going to flick down like this to make spots on this um, background. And I just, I just thought of something else. I'm going to try before we do it on there, I want to try something because this is what I do with my blender pens to make spots is I flick like this. I'm just wondering. That works. I kind of like that too. So you can do it that way or you can just flick right off the edge of your block and both ways work fine. Off the edge of the block is giving me bigger spots, which I kind of like. I like that we would see sort of more of the stars or the snow or, you know, whatever. Whatever these are. So I'm just flicking 
Oh, yeah, look at those. Oh, look, that one's like a little meteor. That's cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little streak. So now I have white flecks and I have shimmery stars and that is my sky can you see all those see my little meteor Isn't that cool right there <laughs> it's kind of fun it's little but it's there <laughs> so that's that is really just how I did it that's really all I did and then obviously cut it down I do like look you can see that fresh freesia look at that you can really see that difference that is a big difference. And then I just glued it together and mounted it on my card. And so that was it. It really was not difficult. It's just a matter of kind of playing and having fun with it. You know, it's just paper and, right? It's just paper. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I'm so glad you like it. So any questions about that? If you're watching live, I'm going to watch for just a moment and see if you have a question. And if not, I will watch for comments later. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Brenda, Renee. Yeah, falling snow. Exactly. Thank you, everyone. I'm so glad you like it. It was just, you know, a way to use that paper that I just wasn't. I, I just, I don't know. I just wasn't using it up. So I thought, well, we will try that. Thank you. So glad you like it. Well, I don't see any other questions. You are welcome, everyone. So I will watch later. I'd love to hear if you use this technique and if you make any projects like this. I, I would love to see them. And I am, uh, oh, thank you, Tammy. I am so glad that you found me and joined me. And I will see you on Friday. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it still works for my Facebook Live. I will tell you that this Friday, February 25th, my live is going to be about my Stampin' Up! story and my why, why I signed up for Stampin' Up! And if... You have questions. I want you to come prepared. I would love for you to bring those questions and ask. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. My usual time is 10 a.m. Pacific time on Fridays. So be sure to tune back in if you would like to hear that story and if you would like to ask questions. Oh, okay. Robin said she was inspired from Barry and Jay. They are amazing. Hi, Veronica. Welcome. Thanks, Renee. You're welcome. Oh, the paper with the mountains is from the New Horizons pack. So it is a package that has lots of different patterns in it. You've seen me use it on several cards already. And I just went ahead and cut it apart. So here was the top half of it. And I just cut it with my paper snips. And all of these are on my blog not all, this, is on my blog two days ago. So you can go back there and you can read all the details and see all the products and you can click to purchase any of these products on there. <laughs> Sandy says, have I booked my Aurora Borealis trip yet? Well, I am going to Alaska this August. I am hosting a stamping and crafting cruise in August and I'm really hoping that we get to see some of the uh, Northern Lights. I've seen them before on our Alaska cruises, but not like in its full glory. So I'm hoping to see it again. All right. So thank you again, everyone. And I will see you on Friday. Bye. Yeah, well, I'm trying to turn it off. It's not turning off. <laughs> oh my gosh, what do I do? Uh, let's try an eraser. This is funny. If you're still here, you're probably laughing, right? <laughs>